Bonjour. Today I'm going to prep a lamb shank kebab. I have my beautiful barbecue DCS. We're going to use a rotisserie. This lamb shank is not deboned, so I'm going to show you how to debone the lamb shank. Make sure to use a debone knife. This knife is a global knife. I don't lie to you, I have it for 15 years, this knife. Global is not just good for fish, but also for meat. Love this knife. It's really an extension of my hand. It's amazing. So, deboning a piece of meat is really to find where is the bone, and then after it, just follow the bone with your knife. First, we're going to take up this bone here. I don't know when the last time I deboned a lamb. Long time ago, you know, now you get the lamb deboned. It's great. It's faster. So take your time, feel your piece of bone, use your hand. It's good, you know, to debone things, guys. It's more exciting to cook, you know, after you're very proud of yourself. I think now we don't eat enough with your hand. You know, we don't feel enough things. You know, I think it's very important to feel. Wow. So see, guys, you have a big joint here. First one. Now, I'm going, just going to split my meat like this and follow the bone. See, guys? I bled is against the bone and I just follow the bone. You really want to get as much meat as you can from the bone, okay? That's the bone. In France, I would be fired just for that. You have a little meat here. I need to practice more, but what we do now for the dog. I have no dog. Anyway, I'm going to take up a little bit of the fat. Because this fat here, guys, you know, it's not very good fat. This skin is very chewy. So take up this fat here. I just love kebab. You slice the meat, marinate the meat with anything you want, put in the stew, put in the rotisserie. It's amazing. So easy, so healthy. No butter. I mean, I'm going to add butter today, but of course, I'm, I'm French. I cook with my pan and my block of butter. Okay, guys, we're good. I'm going to cut like this, like this. In France, we do a lot of lamb for Easter. Easter in France, when you're a kid, you know, it's pretty cool because you go hunt for eggs in the garden because overnight, the belt drop some candy. A bird drops? No, That's the different. belt, the belt. Ding, 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 ding. Bell drops the Easter candy? Yeah. You don't know that? Here's the Easter bunny. Oh, over there, there's a bell. Ding, 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 ding. Time now to do our marinade. For the marinade, I need garlic, sugar, salt, mint, and good olive oil. I'm going to cut a little bit of garlic here. Papa, I want a house. It was a beautiful day, and I was cooking, and of course, uh, Luca uh, came. All the time I cook, Luca is coming. Luca is obsessed with food. So you're going to start to uh, mash it, OK? So I'm going to put a little bit of mint, and let's smash it. Come on, Luca. He's very obsessed, like intense with cooking. And it's very interesting because I never, never really force him. He just do that naturally. I put a little bit of sugar. Do you know where's the sugar? Yes. How do you know that? I taste like this. Okay, that's sugar. Okay, that is salt, I think. Put a little bit of sugar. You know why I put sugar? Why? The sugar is going to give some coloration on the lamb, Luca. A pinch of salt. Smash. So now I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. He don't care about this soccer ball, this bicycle, TV, Lego. No, he just wants to be with me and cooking. Five years old, it's insane. I'm going to take the piece of meat, the paste, and you just... Spread it around. Voilà. Everywhere, I want all the meat to be paint. Like when you paint, okay? Okay. Voilà, bien. Well, it's good, hein, Lucas? I'm a knight. You're not a knight. I'm a knight. No, you're not. I'm a knight. You know that, no? It's a really great honor to be knighted. I was very surprised, you know. I was thinking it was a mistake when I get the big envelope like this. I was afraid it was like a, a be arrest or be a bill. When you get this big letter and say, you're knighted. It's pretty amazing. Try to keep the mix inside, okay, Luca, please? Okay. Not on the floor. We're good. Stop it. So, now I want to put the meat on the skewer. Cooking outside, when it's beautiful like this. It's good to be with your family, your friend. Make sure you press very well. Make sure the meat don't move. Voilà. Don't you think it's beautiful, Luca? <laughs> See, it's heavy, huh? Oh, yeah. Attention, hein? Motor, on. Yeah! Good job. Hey. Okay. So now, we're going to do our rosemary stick. Normally, when you base, you just use a regular brush, but we're not to do a brush with rosemary to give more flavor. This is more beautiful. I know it's a little bit like this, like give more flavor, whatever, but. Okay, so we put like this, and we tie very, very strong here. Tie very strong. Cut here. Do some my finger. Thank you. So you give flavor, smell. So now you have some butter. 
And we put a little bit of the spice called uh, vadouvant. It's like a French curry. It's made with a fried shallot, fried onions, curry leaves, fenugreek, mustard seed. I put my rosemary stick in the butter and then I baste the meat. Just baste it a little bit like this. So you can start to see some coloration already with the meat. My rotisserie is on high. I go on high, get my crust, then after I'm going to go on low to finishing cooking. Not today. Bon, I'm going to do now a bean stew. The idea of this bean stew, it was really an aspiration from a good chef I like called Inaki. Amazing, simple dish. And that's exactly what he's cooking, guys. Inspiration from everybody. It's not like copy somebody. You take an inspiration, the base, and after you play with that, that's what he's cooking. I use dry beans. If you have a fresh beans, use fresh beans. I get some beautiful white cannelli, garbanzo, and some black IP beans. It's faster to cook when you soak them in water overnight. So, how I cook them? Come here. You wouldn't want to be gentle when you boil your beans. Water, salt, bring to simmer. Every 10 minutes, you add water to make sure like this, the beans don't break. So now after you're just cooking slowly your beans. It's going to take around like, uh, I would say like 20 minutes. A lot of people are cooking beans too fast. Just be gentle and add a little bit water all the time. Voila. I remember when I was a kid, I was always going on vacation to my aunt and with my cousin, of course, who are very young, were like 10 years old and it was a big competition to get a lot of beans in the plate because you know why? After you fart. And we fart and tick in the room, my aunt get mad because, oh, we poof again, I smell. At that time with my cousin too, we are sleeping in the same bed, so fart and stink in the bed, of course. Some are very good to make you fart a lot. I think somebody should do a study about that. Whose beans is a more powerful? <laughs> Your stomach after one hour, blah, 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 you fart. <laughs> So I have my beans here. I'm going to add some chicken stock, the salt, white pepper. Then I'm going to add some uh, mayo lemon. I love mayo lemon. You can eat everything. The skin is so good too. I'm going to put all this lemon in my stew. See you like this. Now it's always good to add a little bit of acidity in your dish. Then after I'm going to add a little bit of a chive in my stew. Chop them very finely. Voila. I'm going to put in our stew. Try again. Voilà, perfect. So I'm doing a brown butter now, and then I'm going to put in my stew. Love my little pink pot. So you see all these brown spots here? That's what gives the flavor to the butter. Wow, look at the color. And now I'm going to put my brown butter on my beans. Bean stew is ready now. Easy. When you have a date and you eat with a girl and she eats beans, oh God, it's not going to be tonight. It's true. I'm going to check the lamp one more time. Good. Attention, Lucas. Ouf! C'est bon, il y a la quête? C'est bon. C'est bon, hein? So, the good thing of kebab is, so you see, the meat is a little more medium rare, you see, so we're going to put him back to finish to cook. That's what I like it. So, we're going to take our bean stew, Lucas. Dessus, the petit morceau. Hi, for me. That's it. No, no more meat, it's good. Then, after, Lucas, we'll put a little bit like this. Good job, bro. We make it. It was a perfect lamb kebab with a bean stew. Tell you a secret. So when I was a kid, I love beans, you know why? Because they make me poof and be sticky. Very funny. Funny? I explained to him, I eat more beans than you, so I poof more than you. So I think he's going to remember that. You're gonna fart. Me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, tonight, yeah, I'm gonna fart in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to give memory to my kids with food. I think it's very important to do that. You know what we do now? We clean. What? We need to clean now.